Jesus came to seek that which is what? And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. Because even Jesus Christ, who created hell, speaks about hell. And many people avoid hell because they don't want to talk about their home. And when the Jehovah Witnesses say that there's a soul sleep, you tell the Jehovah Witnesses they don't know what the Bible says. That Jesus himself said that hell was created for the devil and for his angels. And if you don't put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you'll join the devil and his angels in hell unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There's nothing more to say and to say over and over. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's Acts 16.31. When a man steps out and is about to kill himself and seeks, what does God want me to do? Paul and Silas doesn't say, come to church. They didn't say, come to church, go to church. They said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And after they were saved, they washed the stripes of Paul who was beaten. Then he and his family were baptized. The baptism came after the salvation. Matter of fact, the baptism came after they cleaned Paul and Silas up and fed them. They were saved. They brought Paul home. They cleaned and fed Paul. Then they were baptized. The dying thief on the cross was never baptized. He didn't go to church. He didn't give his tithe. The dying thief put his trust in Jesus. And Jesus said, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Now, things that Jesus never said. Jesus never said to the thief on the dying cross, All right, stop the crucifixion. He's got to go to church Sunday morning. Jesus never said that. When there is belief and faith in Jesus Christ alone, there is salvation. And there is eternal life in Jesus Christ alone. And 
without Jesus Christ, there is no eternal life. Where the Bible says that he that has the Son has everlasting life. And he that has not the Son has not eternal life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And it would be so good so people could talk plain. And to say that Jesus saved, instead of acting like a fool. Because the Bible says that the fool has said in his heart, though he don't say word, that there's no God. Don't be a fool. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And be saved. It's simple to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. You, not, you may not make it Sunday morning to church. Be saved now. You can be saved right here at Mongolia and Wall Street and Daytona Beach, and not go to church Sunday morning. You can know Jesus, and the angels and Jesus could know you today if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Don't wait for church Sunday morning. Do it now. It's simple to be saved. Just put your faith and trust in Jesus. Put your faith and trust in what God has done and what you cannot do. Step out of religion and step into Jesus. Stop trying to work a work you cannot do. When it has been finished by what Jesus had done in that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That alone is what can save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. He was perfect. And we are not. And the reason why Jesus was perfect. Because he is God. And we are not. How do you know we're not God? When the Bible says all have sinned. God never sinned. And sinners can do nothing for salvation but put their faith and trust in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Forget what religion and tradition says. Do what the Bible says. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Stop being deceived by religion. But put your faith and trust in God. God is is not religion. Religion is man-made. And Jesus Christ is God-approved. You will not get to heaven 
on religion. You will not make it. There is none that doeth good, no, not one, but Jesus Christ, the good. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Plain and simple. That's how God made it. Religion wants you to jump through religious hoops. Religion passes the plate. God passes the blood. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. It is the blood of the Lamb. It is the blood of God. It is by Jesus Christ alone. Can a man get to heaven? And without Jesus Christ, a man will not get to heaven. Hey, listen, you know what I have done today? I have, I have not preached more. I have not said much about hell. So when somebody comes up to me, you're always preaching hell. You never preach the positive. Well, on March 27th, I've been preaching the positive. I know positively, if you put your faith and trust in Jesus, you'll get to heaven. And I know if you trust in religion, you'll go to hell. I am positive of that. I am positive that Jesus saved. And I am positive hell is full of religion. So today's the day you always preach about hell, you always preach negativity. Now today's the day I'm preaching positive. I am preaching about heaven. I'm preaching about Jesus. I am mentioning hell, but I'm trying to mention heaven more. For those people who want to come up and say, it's hell, 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 hell. No, it's heaven. Heaven by Jesus Christ alone. Put your faith in trust. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. It's so simple. Religion will say, come to church. Come to church. What if you died tonight and didn't make it to church? And you wake up in hell Saturday night. Well, I was going to go to church Sunday morning. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ now. Now is the day of salvation. Now. You may not have later. Right now, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your faith and trust in Jesus, right now, there may not be a later. Nowhere are you promised a later. Death is sure. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ.
For with the heart, man believes in the righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made on the salvation. You today, right now, can be saved. You right now can call upon Jesus Christ and say, Lord Jesus God, save my soul. Cleanse me of my sin. That's it. If you believe that Jesus is able to cleanse you, that Jesus is able to save you, Speak out. Speak with your heart. And know that you're saved. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And eternal life is in the Son. And the Son is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is God. And God is able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved.